Hey, what's up guys? What's good? What, what the fuck is good with you today? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself. I hope you're doing all the things you got to do to your to, to maintain that dome of yours and this body and this vessel we have um, that gets us through this thing we call life, okay? Today we're talking art school. You can read, hopefully, and you saw the title, hopefully, and you clicked on the video, hopefully. We're talking art school. Should you go? Is it right for you? What's my experience? What do I have to say about it? All this and more coming right now. So, I gotta be honest with you, I gotta be a little bit up front. Oh, and by the way, painting of my friend Jack, okay? And a cat named Mango. Very, one of my closest friends, one of my best friends. A very awesome individual, very funny guy. He's not scared to, to poke, push your buttons, okay? So just be aware of that. I'm gonna link his channel down below. He's a really funny guy, he's got really funny stuff, but I'm not responsible for anything he says that may upset you if it does, okay? But I love him. Um, and no more countless painting of them, so that's, there you go. So, I gotta be honest with you, I gotta be a little bit up front, okay? I didn't go to an art school, okay? I went to a university with an art program. So it's a little different than an art school proper, okay? But that's what I did, and um, I really, really loved it, okay? I overall really enjoyed going to art school. School for art. When I call it art school, okay, I mean, I went to university. I studied in an art program. So just keep that in mind when I say art school. I didn't go to Cal Arts. I didn't go to. I didn't go to uh, draw Steven Universe School or nothing like that. <laughs> okay, I didn't do. No, I didn't do that. I just went to a, a UC. Okay, and I uh, studied. I chose to study art. That's what happened. And that's what I did. Okay. So my experience there was very positive. I really enjoyed it, okay? I was drawing in high school. As I talked about the depression video, I would draw my sketchbooks to uh, to kind of vent my frustrations or, you know, feel better about, about things or just kind of, you know, talk to myself and just be really honest with my feelings. But I would draw a lot. I would do little doodles on the margins and of, of, of assignments and uh, of, of stuff like that. Okay, so, uh, that's how I got into drawing about my senior year. Actually, it was in an art class. And my, my art teacher's name is, his name is Jeremy. And Jeremy was like, hey man, um, you're pretty creative. Okay, you're pretty creative. You got, this is like really cool what you're doing. So you should uh, keep doing it. And I was like, what? Okay, so I did. I kept doing it. I kept drawing. I kept doing that kind of thing. And uh, eventually, um, when I went to college, I was... Like, okay, I don't know what to study. Okay, uh, I kind of want to do math. I kind of want to do something in, in space engineering and some shit like that. Because uh, my other, my strongest subject in school was math. It was math. Um, I really liked going to math class. I would spend extra time practicing math after or before school. Like, I was kind of a nerd, okay, about it. And so, that's what happened. I was, I was doing... Uh, I was gonna go do math and I was like, you know what? Let's do pure math. Let's just do pure mathematics and uh, What happened was I decided, you know, what? let me go check out the art program. So I went to the art programs advising like their office hours and uh, the, the the person there saw me her name was uh, Was Jude I believe I forget I feel really bad, but I'm pretty sure anyway, she was talking to me. Yeah, I think it was Jude she was talking to me, and uh, she was like, I was like, you know, I'm like torn between art and math. And she was like, why don't you just do both? So I did. And then in my first semester, I was doing a math course, uh, cal calculus, and uh, uh, a sculpt like a 3D art course about 3D art and sculpture and installation and all that. And I really liked my art class. I really enjoyed it. And the, the math class was a huge struggle because, like, I don't know what it is about schools and, and engine this looks like a brain like this looks an interesting texture i don't know what it is about like 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 tech schools or engineering programs or stuff like that but they just make it so goddamn hard you know and i get it. like you gotta weed motherfuckers out i get it but i want to learn it and i want to do it but it's like impossible there's like 80 people in a section i can't fucking hear the guy at the front and Office hours are hard to get to, and it's like all these kids, and it's just really, really tough. And it's not really made for someone who's a hands-on learner like me, okay? You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm putting down. So, this is really dark. 
don't know if you can see it. But we're just gonna keep. We're just gonna. This is the process of our process. We just kind of put some stuff down. And we'll mess with it later. We'll change it up later. Um, I'm gonna do the hair after I think. But um, let me get some brown for that for the for the uh, eyebrows there. But um, my boy got my, he got eyebrows. He got eyebrows and some some blue eyes. Okay. Get some nice blue in here. Nice little blue. Okay. Um, where was I? I was talking about yeah. So I decided you know what I I got a C minus. I barely passed barely passed the math class and I but and I was kind of struggling and hating hating doing it. So I decided you know I'm gonna just uh, stick with the art thing. And so I did. And I studied art. And you know the first years were all right, pretty good. I was like I just can't wait till we get in the studios and. You know, do that, and then eventually the pandemic hit, and I couldn't. I was doing art class online, and that really sucked. So it kind of colored in my uh, experience with art, art school, is the pandemic. So be aware of that as well. Um, but it was ass. Okay, uh, online art school is not not as good as in person art school, not even by a, a long shot. So I was pretty upset about that, and um, you know, kind of sucked. You know, that kind of sucked. But it's okay because in my last year, I got to do, finally I got to do in-person things. And that last year I spent was so awesome. It was fantastic. I met so many new people. I, I made a lot of new friends. I had some really great experiences in the studios and I made some awesome work and I really grew as an artist in that last year. So it was pretty fantastic. And I really enjoyed it. So that's my, that's my overall, like, you know, nutshell of what my experience was. Very very broad. So let's get to talking about the nitty gritty. Let's get to talk about, this looks like a brain, dude. It looks weird. It looks weird. I need better, I need a new set of pastels. See, it's why, this is why it's hard to talk and paint at the same time. Like, I want you to understand, this is not easy to do. So like, if you're like, oh, he's rambling. Like, dude, you fucking try this, man. <laughs> You try this. I should be the expert, the only one doing it. So, anyway, let's talk. I want to talk. Um, first of all, should you even study art in the first place? Whether you're going to university and choosing to study art, or you want to go to art school and do that, should you study art in the first place? This is a quote I really like. It goes, "Those who choose to study art only do it because they love it." Okay, which I think is very true. Like, if you are not someone who is super passionate about making art or and again i'm gonna get into it uh later about like do you even need to go to art school in the first place if you love doing art just just so you know right now you don't need to go to art school to be a good artist or even a great one you know you don't need to okay but we're just talking about if you were deciding whether or not you want to study art you know should you do it and i would say if you love it and you have a a, a really strong passion for it and it is super exciting to you and like that's how you want to spend your four years and you don't mind like the difficulty of trying to find a job after the fact go for it make your decision it's your choice you know like that's what's going to happen you'll have a great time you'll meet all sorts of new people but you're also going to struggle afterwards trying to find work um and that kind of thing that's the short of it but if you're like even a little hesitant like oh dude i don't think that i don't know like should i even if you're a little hesitant don't do it just Say something more practical, you know, like, um, and there's all sorts of different things of art, there's forms of art, there's like photography and printmaking and blah, 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 all sorts of stuff. Not just, can he paint in the studio? Like, there's all sorts of stuff that you can study in, uh, under an art, art program. Um, but even if you're a little hesitant, you know, don't do it. Like, just, just say something practical, okay? And this is such a, and you might think it's a weird thing for, for an artist to tell you, but like, dude, I'm... I'm just trying to be realistic here, okay? Like, I'm not going to spout this stuff about... I mean, I'm not going to give you bullshit. Like, this is what's, what's reality in the United States. Like, this is what life is, is what life is like. You know, it's, it's, it's hard. It is not easy being an artist in the sense of, like, getting money and finding work and being a part of the greater whole of society and all that. It's tough, okay? So let's get into it, okay? Let's really get into it. 
Only if you're passionate, I really recommend studying art. But if you're still on the fence and you are like, you know what, I really love doing art, but also like I'm kind of in between, you know, let's weigh the pros and cons. And I'm gonna go with the pros first because I like staying a little positive. I like to kind of give you, get you a little excited before I break your heart. <laughs> so, um, damn, like that. You're gonna. This is just kind of. Ah, oh, dude, this is fucked up. I gotta try this. I gotta do something different here. Um, I gotta really think. I really gotta find something that works better. Um, than this. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna go for the cat first because I think trying to do the cat would be a little easier, and then we can kind of. We can kind of work on Jack a little later. Um, so, pro number one are the people you will meet. See, I'm, I've touched on this. You're gonna meet lots of good people. You meet a lot of like-minded people. You meet a lot of creative people. You're gonna meet a lot of free-spirited people. You're gonna meet all sorts of folks, okay? And especially going to university, which I think is important, is also make friends with non-artists. People who don't even like make art. You know, who might be in art but just don't really make it or aren't really into it like you might be. You know, they're great people to know. And uh, so, you know, like get to, you know, like that's that's a huge thing. You'll get, all, you'll meet all sorts of people you can collaborate with, all sorts of new people you can, uh, you can talk to and about like about art and ideas and stuff like that. You know, like all sorts of people. And for me, I've made all sorts of friends, artists and non-artists alike, that are still friends with me to this day. That we're still friends. They're friends with me. I'm not. Fr they're friends with me. No, we're all we're friends to this day, and you know we have a good connect connections. We love talking art, you know, and music and stuff like that. And you know, it's great. It was it's great. You know, so people you're gonna meet, you're gonna meet all sorts of like-minded people, and it's gonna be really good. You're also like lots of people you can collaborate with, um, and really like pull ideas from each other give critiques, that kind of thing. Like those are two, I'm gonna get on critique later because that's a positive too, spoiler alert. But um, just so you're aware. Um, let's see, okay, people. Uh, and again, you'll get to collaborate with people too. Collaboration, working with people, side by side, bouncing ideas off each other is a really powerful thing. Artists work best in a community of artists, not as individuals, which is unfortunately kind of where I'm at right now. <laughs> Oops, but hey, it is what it is. That's why I'm doing this YouTube thing and trying my best, you know, but it is really good. Artists work alongside other artists really well. Join a club, join a collective, do start one, do just meet artists. You know, it's gonna be the great, it's a perfect place to do it you know, at these, um, as at, at an art school or university with an art program. Okay, and also when you work with um, all the older students, maybe you're a freshman, you meet a senior who knows what they're doing or a grad student even, who does all sorts of things. I've met, like, I, I had a grad student help me with a paper making project I was doing. They were very helpful and they were very nice, right? And it was really cool. They had a really cool studio they were working in and that kind of thing. So um, that's awesome. And it's very valuable. It's a very valuable thing. So I highly recommend. Uh, that is a pro. That is a pro of the art school, okay? That's a pro. I'm just kind of going in on this a little bit. So this is, I want to talk about the painting a little bit. It's tough um, painting and talking at the same time. Because like usually when I'm painting, I'm super laser focused on, okay, what colors work here? What colors work best here? Right now I'm like, oh damn, I didn't, I, his face looks burnt. You know, it kind of looks like, it looks really weird and like does not look like him, which is fine. But like part of this process is transparency and sh like being honest about the art making process because some, like on YouTube, some artists will be like, you're just like, how the fuck did they do that? Like, how do they draw like that? How do they paint like that? You know, I'm not saying they're hiding anything. I'm not saying they're doing nefarious things. But my goal is like, I really want to like, like be just super transparent about the process and about being, being an artist and that kind of thing. Like just being realistic. Because yeah, you're going to fuck up. And, but the point is, I don't want you to get discouraged. I'm not discouraged. I'm going to keep going. Like, this is not even, I, oh no, I fucked up the face. Like, I, maybe I can even turn off the projector and shit. Oh, I fucked up the face. Who cares? I'm just going to keep pushing ahead. We're going to fix it later, dude. Right now, just switch focus to the cat. Here's another tip. Quick tip. If you're frustrated with a painting or something, put another canvas up. Put another one up because then you can just switch to a new one and get your work on that one and then come back to this one when you feel like it. Okay, tangent over. All right, another pro of art school. 
room to grow okay you can grow in art school you have room to experiment you have studios you can eventually you'll be working in you'll have people who can reflect ideas off you you'll you'll be introduced to all sorts of new artists that you've never even heard of that have such cool styles that you're like that is so cool i want i want to do something like that and i've had that happen to me several times i've had all sorts of artists who i've been like dude this is super sick like i this guy's stuff I fuck with so heavy and I want to to do something like this person you know so like that's pretty cool that's pretty exciting um and you know like I said you'll get you'll be taking all sorts of classes and different kinds of art classes and stuff like that where you're going to be like you know trying new things working in different fields and with mediums you've never worked with probably and it's kind of like wow I don't even know what to do with this, but there you go. Like I've taken things, I've learned one class, applying to another. Do I have an example off the top of my head right now? No, but it happened. I know, <laughs> I just can't think of an example right now. So that's the facts, okay? Them's the facts is that you'll you'll grow and you'll experiment with things, okay? Um, and you'll have studio space to experiment with. You'll have, again, you, you'll have people around you who can help you. So it's really great for just like not holding yourself. Like I find, it's funny to me when people go into like an art program or an art class, like how, like this is my style this is what i do i'm like the whole point of you being here is not to like already have it figured out like you're supposed to come here to experiment and grow with, and get critique so i just think it's really funny when people are like this is how i am and i'm kind of i was kind of like that you know I, i'm not i'm gonna admit it. so i can speak from my own my own perspective um yeah so the next point next pro critique which kind of nowadays is like a bit of a pro and a bit of a con. I'll get into the con aspect in a second, which might not make sense right now, but the pro is feedback. Feedback, 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 feedback is so important for an artist. I, I uh, need feedback. Give me feedback on this painting right now in the comments, but I don't need it right now because I'm working on it still. I want when I, that's the whole point. Sorry, don't do it. Ignore me. Um, ignore that, don't ignore me entirely. Ignore that statement, okay? Um, uh, but, but critique is really important. Critique is super important for growing and, exp and like learning about like how you work and what works and what doesn't and like, what could you do differently? What could you do better? And I feel like some people might take it personally. You don't take it personally. Don't take it personally. Okay. It's fine. Like it's not most, I mean, like a good, per a good artist giving a good critique is not going to attack your character. Okay. A bad artist giving a bad critique will, it might attack your character. Okay. Ignore that. Ignore anyone who's going to attack your personal person, your character, or any of that. Fuck them. Who cares? Okay. Like you don't need that. What what you do need though is what am I doing right? What am I doing wrong? Like what are people's first impressions of a painting that you're like, okay, I think I'm done, but I really want a second opinion. Okay. And you want their first thoughts, first reactions, and then like let them look at it a little more, what, and then have them tell you what they're seeing and what like what they're feeling and stuff. Because you can't give yourself that objective like lens, you know, and it's also important to ask non-artists, ask an artist and ask a non-artist, because when you ask a non-artist, they're going to totally give you a totally different answer than what an artist might ask you. An artist is going to look at like all these techniques and all these references and styles and all that kind of stuff where it's like, that's not really, like, yes, that's helpful, but really like, is it conveying what I want to convey? And the non-artist would say, is that, what is that? They'll go, they'll go, what is that? Or, oh, that's cool. That's a so-and-so, you know, that's that, you know, and like, that's also really great. That's super helpful. And if you think to yourself, man, like, how is that helpful? Like, they're just saying I fucked up and like, dude, you're, you're not getting it. The whole point is to grow and expand and experiment and change and be flawed. Okay. That's the point. You know, like, like people are attracted to artists, not because they're perfect. If there's anything, people hate artists. <laughs> people really, and I'll make another video about this. People really don't like artists with polish. People don't like artists who have who have money and connections and all that. The general mass, especially other artists too, which I really want to make a, a video on this because I personally can relate to like the bitterness and like being jealous of someone else's success. Like I really want to talk about that because I think it's really important. But that's for another time. But um, people, people, what am I? What was I? Where was I? I was so people get mad about being polished. Um, yes, the point is to be imperfect, imperfect, and to be like ha get be have flaws so people can see themselves in it or be like, I am also flawed in this way. I'm like, this is a real person, you know, like this is like someone, like someone communicating something about themselves that it's not easy to communicate. Something like that, you know? 
Um, so like, let yourself be flawed and let yourself uh, get critiques and be have a critique be thoughtful and you know like not rip you apart, but you know like like practical. Like, is this like, am I doing what I want to do? You know, it's like, is this is this happening the way I want it to happen? Um, so that's really important. And I think that is a huge plus of art school because you're gonna be surrounded by people who are gonna give you that feedback, who are gonna help you in that sense. And it's super important. It's super important for improving your, your craft and your work and you know, be, like creating messages that people can communicate. I've learned things from other artists about my work that I just didn't like, you know, because I'm seeing like a really straight narrow tunnel. But then people go like, I like how you talk about it. I like how you describe it. I like how you do this. I like how you do this. This isn't making sense. And like, I'm like, what? the way I talk about it is an important aspect. Maybe it is. Actually, it is an important aspect. Like that show I mentioned, which I will make a video on. I see in the comments. I will make a video about the art show um, that I had recently. It was really fun. It was a really great time and very uh, uplifting. But one of the things people were telling me, like, I like how you wrote about these pieces. Like, I really love your writing of these works, you know? And, like, I'm like, damn, that's pretty fucking dope. And that's pretty awesome. Like, I didn't realize, like, that my writing was so impactful. And, again, I, I, I write just how I write and how I kind of talk. Like, you know, I, I'm, I, I stutter, I stumble, I, I, I repeat. I'm, I'm a person. I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I just have notes. I don't have a script because, like, you know, if you're telling the truth and you're being honest, you ain't got to remember anything, okay? I like that. I read that on a fortune cookie. <laughs> so back to the critique. Subject of critique. Now, I don't know what this is about. I don't know if it was just my school. I don't know if it's the generation we're in. I don't know. But what I've noticed is people around my age group are, and there's a con, are very hesitant to give genuine critique. And say the things I don't like. A lot of the time in my critique sessions, people would say things they they liked. That's all. But that and there's nothing wrong with that. But it's all they would say. And again, like I was talking earlier, how important it is to get actual feedback. That can be really annoying. Um, and sometimes I would. Yeah, sometimes I'd be the person also doing it. But sometimes, but I tried to be honest and tell people, you, if you're trying to do this, make it more like this. Or if you're doing like, I think you could try this or try another one, but you do like this. You know, I really tried, okay? I, I <laughs> Jesus, I put in effort to doing it like that. But it's not always gonna go that way. People won't always, sometimes you'll give like a really thoughtful critique and the person be like, oh, okay. And they just won't apply it. And it's fine. Like you can't get, you know, you can't let that get to you too much, but it's what happens, okay? It's just what happens. Um, but that is just a, that's a con, like it sucks. Like you're just like, dude, I just need feedback. You know, I just need to know what I'm doing right. Like tell me what I'm doing right. Like I made a painting once that I was like, I genuinely think this is ass. This is a pretty ass painting. And not to like, you know, don't shit on yourself too much, right? Just be, just be honest, but don't shit on yourself. But I was like, this is just not a good painting. I just didn't, it was not uh, anywhere close to my strongest work. But people were still telling me, oh, I like this. I like how you did this. I like this. I like this. And maybe they're, you know, maybe they were seeing something that they had, I wasn't seeing, but also like, dude, I know there's flaws here. Like, I know it. So just tell me, okay? So if you're like that and you're like, well, I just don't like telling people what I don't like about what they're doing or I don't like giving critique, please don't go to art school. <laughs> please don't. <laughs> For the love of God. Or get over that and like really just, actually, you go to art school and learn how to do that, okay? Like be really honest with people and yourself about their work. And you know what? If people get mad at you, like, I can't believe you didn't like my landscape. Not to shit on landscapes. But, like, I can't believe you. <laughs> it's a land. <laughs> then, like, fuck them. Again, like, if they're going to get butthurt over you giving a genuine critique or, like, trying to be helpful. And they're just going to get pissed at you or call you names or refer to you in some kind of way. Or, like, like look at you different or talk to you different. Fuck them. Who cares? Like, that's their problem, not yours. It really is just their problem. Because the whole point of... Going to art school is getting critique and getting feedback. Not the only thing, but one of the biggest parts of it is is getting that feedback, okay? So just remember that, okay? Just remember that. Just remember that. It's important. It's important, all right? So, do we have any? Okay, so this is the uh, second to last one, okay? And this is, again, subjective, and I just want to want you to keep in mind, okay? Now, I don't really care, and I don't really want to get political, 
on this channel at all, okay? I don't really care to do that. Um, I think once you start getting political on a channel, you really divide your audience, and that's not what I'm trying to do, okay? I'm a, I'm, I'm a very open-minded person, and so I like open-minded and difficult discussions. I enjoy it. I think it's uh, intellectually stimulating and riveting, okay? And sometimes people will say things I don't like. And I personally don't like to just, I mean, I used to, I did do this before. I have done this before, but in more recent years, I've been better about it, okay? But I don't like to just like, be like, you are fucked up for that. Wow, you know, like, you know, and get mad like, I can't believe you think that. You know, like that's like lame to me. You know, even if it comes to things that you're like, dude, like that's pretty fucked up. Like, yeah, it is fucked up. Like, you know, it's fucked up. But you're going to get nowhere by just calling them names and just getting mad at them and being like, blah, blah, blah. okay. But I feel like, at least in my experience, art school can be dogmatic in its belief system, whatever belief system it is. Okay. And this goes for both sides of the political aisle. You can experience this on both the left and the right. Okay. I'm just saying. If you are a person who is like, I'm a bit more ambiguous or you're, you know, like you think I'm a bit more ambiguous or I, I kind of go in between or something, just something like that. Or like you like having open discussions and you like having difficult conversations about stuff. You might not experience it in our school and frankly in university in general, because, um, there just seems to be kind of like a lot more, if people are a lot more quick to like kind of dogpile on people for a certain belief. And again, I've been guilty of this. Okay. I've been guilty of doing this. That's why I recognize it as a problem, you know, and like, cause I've done, sorry, camera died. So I lost place, but we're talking about dogma. And, uh, so I think just in general with universities and stuff like that, you're going to find that, um, people are pretty set in their belief system, which is fine, but where it gets kind of annoying and not quite fine is when you can't just like talk to someone who has a different opinion than you okay now it can, and like I said it's both on it's on both sides of the aisle okay so it goes either way so I just don't want anyone misconstruing like oh my god he this is what he thinks blah and like he wants blah you know it's like no I'm not saying nothing like that okay I'm just saying that uh It'd be nice to have a bit more open and critical discussion sometimes. And that's unfortunately something in art school that you'll find is uh, not a ton of people really trying to push boundaries with their work, you know, which is not super dope, but like it's fine, I guess. But, you know, just, just that's just something to be aware of, okay? That's just, I just want to make you privy to that, privy to that fact, okay? Just be aware of that, all right? Be aware of that. And so, the last con, again, I already touched on this, but despite how expensive it is to get that degree, it's really hard to make that degree pay off for you, an art degree, that is, okay? Unless you have a, like a, a specific path that you want to take, like I'm going to go study animation and work at Pixar, I work for like a movie uh, 3D animation kind of company thing, unless you already have that kind of plan going for yourself, and like, you know, precisely what you want to do, you know, like the degree is going to be pretty tough to, to make work for you. Okay. So just be aware of that as well. Like it's, it's not a money making machine, you know, having a, having an art degree. Okay. It's not a money making machine and you're going to kind of be, have a tough time to find, uh, careers and jobs that are, you know, seeking that kind of thing. All right. Um, not to say it's not impossible and not to say like you can't, you know, uh, get a job with an art degree. I'm not saying that at all. But what I am saying is it's really fucking hard. And, um, there's such few kinds of jobs in the art field where like they will pay you really well and you will kind of, you know, be able to pay rent and stuff like that and that sort of thing. But they're like corporate jobs or tech jobs. They're related to tech and... Or like, again, corporate jobs like Pixar, Disney, that kind of thing. So if you're really not into that kind of thing, it's going to be pretty tough. And speaking from my personal experience, I've worked at a restaurant. And now I work at, uh, my current job is not in the field I anticipated working in. But I like it. It's good. I enjoy it. But it's not quite, um, and art can be incorporated into that field, but in a positive way. But it's not quite what I envisioned for myself. So 
that I just want you to know like that is a part of the whole thing. Okay, so that's the last con, the last major con uh, that I wrote down. Okay, uh, so just just be aware. Okay, so like if you're getting a full ride to go to school, and you really want to study art, perfect, go right ahead. You know, as long as you're aware what the art degree is is worth, you know, go right ahead, do it. But uh, if you if you want, again, I'm not telling you what to do anything or like I'm not responsible for anything. All right, just so you know, I'm not responsible for your financial decisions. I'm not responsible for your life choices. You're responsible for your own life choices, okay? But um, if you're going to pay for it, your parents are paying for it, and it's going to be a lot harder to sell getting an art degree, that's tricky. Also, another piece of advice is that uh, if you're choosing to study art and you want to study art, uh, either double major in something else or get a minor in something else because it's going to help if you have an additional... Um, thing and don't do education, okay? Because you know why? Because that's what I did, and it was not fun. Don't, be... <laughs> bro. <laughs> don't study education. That is, I was, oh god, I hated it. I'm sorry if, if people who uh, I've known in the education field are watching, but I really kind of despise uh, at least the education program. I had. I really did not like this. I really could not think of a single class that I like thoroughly enjoyed all the way through, except maybe one, you know. But like. Like, just, just don't, just do anything else, like math. Do math! <laughs> just study math. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, okay, so that's another fact about studying uh, art, okay? That's another one. Now, I would like to stop painting for a second, because I really want to have a real talk moment with you. So, come on, step with me outside. We're going to have a real talk, my friend. We're going to talk real. Real talk. Okay, real talk. Do you need to go to art school? Do you really need to go? In my opinion, uh, no. Okay, and here's why. If you really want to be a great artist, and you really want to practice stuff, and just be a good artist in general, just, you know, practice. Just make. And, you know, if you can find art classes, local art classes, or local arts, and local art scene, and get yourself involved in that scene in some capacity and meet those people, great. And then if you can read books and look at other artists and kind of study them for yourselves, like grab, find the ones you really gravitate towards, study them and learn from them. And if you can find the means of speaking with local artists and other artists and connecting with them, great. Okay, but all that's easier said than done. And what I think art school does is kind of gives you all that in a package, gives you all those really essential art skills you need outside of the studio and that's kind of what it does for you it gives you the studio skills and gives you the outside the studio skills so you can connect with people and create outside and with other people and find ways to put shows on and that kind of thing um, but that requires a lot of uh, motivation and determination um, but if you want to be an artist and you don't want to go to art school and you're like fuck that I don't want to spend the money and you don't want to go to college in general which is like hey more power to you I'm not saying one way or the other what you should do, but um, it's possible. Okay, just take it for me. It's possible to do it. It is possible, but it requires a lot of work, um, which can be really difficult in in this economy. Okay, because you need you need money, and so going to college for a few years kind of takes you out of that. Like you don't really, you know, as long as you get if you get a grant or something like that, you can make money that way you know, like just study and take the time in school and really learn those skills without having to worry about working a job or working a full-time job or something. But if you have the means, if you have a job that is low hours and gives you really great pay because you, you know, you just got that connection somehow, you're really fortunate, or if you're really rich, which uh, rich people in art, now that's a video topic. But if you just, if you just somehow don't need to work and you have plenty of free time and you really want to be an artist, it's possible. And if you need to, and you don't want to go to school, and you want to be an artist, and but you need, but you're, you know, like me, you're poor, and you have a, not a lot of money, and you need to work, work, work. If you can do it in your in your downtime, or if you can practice in your downtime, it's possible. Just know art school makes it really easy, and it's a loan. You get loans, so you pay it off over time, but it can be a lot. It can be burdensome. So just be aware. 
Okay, you don't have to go to art school to be a great artist. There's plenty of artists who really didn't and just kind of studied something else and end up doing art, you know, because they really like doing it. Um, so just be aware of that. Be aware of that. But uh, but yeah, that's the real talk. Um, I think it's just better you you spend your money wisely, study something practical, get that practical skill, and study for practice your art for a long time. You know, don't. Also avoid instant gratification pieces too. Like just, and this is another subject for a video, the Insta Instagramification of art. Um, I really try and discourage just sharing every little thing that you do, like every little sketch, every little painting, every little thing you do, uh, because it's gonna give you this false sense of progress. And this is real talk. It's gonna give you this false sense of progress that you're really improving because you're getting likes on Instagram. But really improvement comes from within. And it's like, it's what you think is improvement and how you view your work is how you see your work growing and how you see it changing and um, is it really accurately reflecting your mindset and who you are or is it, are you trying to appease an algorithm or appease other people right like these like these are questions you got to ask yourself okay so you know you're gonna have to practice and you're gonna have to really like figure out why you're making art too because for me it was a release it's therapeutic it is therapeutic it is it allows me to connect with other people. And I'm very passionate about it. And I think people respond to that. Okay, people respond to that. So that's what why I do it. And what works for me in that sense. And you know, you know, I've been guilty of doing all of that. Everything I've, I say like, don't do this, it's because I'm guilty of it. For most, most of the time, most of the time. Um, it depends. But yeah, like I've made instant gratification pieces and been an Instagrammable artist or whatever, you know. I think I deleted most of those or taking them down and you know I only really post things I'm particularly proud of or things that I think really show what I'm trying to do or things I want to sell okay so be aware of that um, there's nothing wrong with posting your art on your Instagram there's nothing wrong with posting little sketches if you wish to do it there's nothing wrong with that at all I want to say but if you're really trying to like you know quote unquote make it or like and by or just really want to see yourself grow and improve as an artist and really have a straightforward kind of message that you want to put out like you know focus on yourself focus on your work focus on that don't worry about try not to worry too much about what's going on online try and focus on what you're doing what's happening with your hand all right as you make or your feet if you paint with your feet for some reason okay yeah um practice for a long time and See if you can't just put show, get if you can put find a show a means of putting a show on, do it. You know, it doesn't hurt. Um, but yeah, I, I just don't I just don't want you to get the sense of like, oh, I went to art school, so now I um, I'm an uh, I'm I'm a 100% bona fide master, you know, or like I'm an expert, or like I can learn no more things because I think you really do the hard learning after art school. <laughs> That's what I've been learning is like when you're like, okay, now you get to swim in the deep end. You're at the deep pool, deep end of the pool. So like put that, put that work in all the things you learn. Now you have to use. And that's when the tough part comes. So just be aware of that. And art is different for everyone. It comes in all sorts of shapes and sizes and, and methods and techniques and stuff. So just find what works best for you. Do what works best for you. And you know, it'll come naturally for the most part. And, uh, you know, just have faith in yourself. I think number one, no matter what you do, art school, no art school, drop out, whatever, whatever you do, just have faith in yourself. Really, as long as you believe in yourself and you have, like, like, like you I have an unshakable uh, mindset of I am going to achieve what I want to achieve, even if you don't necessarily land where you want to land. As long as you have a very forward-thinking mindset, a very um, progressive mindset in that sense of like I'm gonna work really hard I'm gonna I'm gonna be do great things with my work or whatever like like you're gonna do great things you're gonna go to a great place okay even if it's not exactly what you envision you will go to a great place as long as you have that mindset don't be delusional don't be delusional but uh you know be realistic and be honest with yourself and like I said take feedback too if someone offers you feedback that has experience take it and if someone offers you feedback you're like oh my god like why the fuck is this person offering me feedback this person doesn't know anything you know take it with a grain of salt and see like think about it if they say something you really don't like 
think about it. You know, might be a reason they said it. Might be pulling something out their ass. That's for you to determine. But just be open-minded, okay? Just be open-minded. Believe in yourself. Um, take care of yourself, too. Again, I said this before, but art is not... No matter what we like to think, art is not your entire life. Art was not... Like, it's not 100% of your life. Art was not 100% of Pablo Picasso's life. It was not 100% of Basquiat's life. It was not 100% of Herring's life. I mean, you know, for them, yeah, it was a pretty large percentage, but it was not 100%. And I think it's important you take care of yourself. You sleep well. You eat good. You form good habits. You exercise. You get outside. You really got to take care of yourself to be a good artist, I think. Um, I hate this idea of... You need to suffer for your art. I really hate that. I kind of despise that idea. I think it's really flawed, deeply flawed, and I think it's gonna. I think it's more harmful than beneficial. I think what is beneficial is balancing, uh, balancing uh, art and your the rest of your life and your relationships and your family and things you want to do outside of art too. Because you know, being an artist is not just about spending twenty four seven in the studio and um, drinking your own piss. Okay, it's 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 about. <laughs> It's it's about reacting to your life and reacting to the things around you and the things that happen to you outside the studio. You bring that into the studio. You know, you're not going to... If you just spend multiple days in a studio, you're not going to really make anything too interesting unless you actually have a lived experience outside. So I think that's a bit about it. I think that's about um, where I want to end this video. I think I pretty much covered everything I want to cover. Uh, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or share your experiences too. I'm very curious. Like, is, have you been to art school? Like, or have you, are you thinking about it? Do you want to go? Are you, uh, are you doing, <laughs> are you doing, uh, are you doing that right now? Or are you, did you study finances and you're an artist, but you're like, why did I study finances? Kenneth, you're wrong. Don't do this. If you think I'm wrong, well, let me know. If you disagree, let me know. Actually, I'm very curious. I'm always... I always like hearing people who disagree because I'm curious where I went wrong or, you know, like what, what I'm not considering or what part of it, part of a thing I'm not considering. So anyway, I do all the things, sub and scribe and all that jazz. Leave a comment if you have thoughts and uh, like that video. So people, more people see art videos like this. So thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. I hope this video satiates your needs and uh, I'll see you again next time. Peace.